Hey, it's Justin Canoy, DJ, business coach, and idea sharer. And in this video, we're taking a look at the music pool that I've been using since 2003, promo only. One of the biggest questions that DJs are always asking is where do you get your music or what music pools do you subscribe to? And I subscribe to a few different ones, but the one that has been with me for nearly two decades is promo only. I figured we'd dive in and show you not only the interface, but um, how I download the music and organize it a little bit. But before even showing you the pool interface, I wanted to go to their website. I'm gonna click on products and these are all the different releases that are available to working DJs. If you look at, for instance, Top 40 Audio for $12 a month, you get their mainstream radio on the rhythm radio. Now, subsequently, they have other releases like country radio, uh, modern rock, dance, and EDM music, Latin, of course. And this can get pretty expensive if you're subscribing to each one of these individually. So one of the great things you can do and they have available to us is this package where they bundle a lot of these different options together. And for me, I use promo only Pool Audio Silver. And we click on that and you can see all of these releases that you have available to you. Of course, mainstream radio, country radio, but other things like Caribbean, Pop Latin, Urban Club, Urban Radio, even Contemporary Christian. Once you subscribe to it, you'll get access to their uh, separate application that you're gonna install on your computer and then download your music from. So let's check out that. All right, so now I've got the pool player open. This is Promo Only's application that you'll download and have access to all of your subscription services. And we're just looking at the initial interface. Everything that's in green right here are releases that I have yet to download. If it's in red and actually has a check mark, that means that I've downloaded it. Let's go into the preferences because I wanna show you kind of why my screen looks like this. We go into preferences, uh, we can actually see the check marks for the formats that I would like to see to download. I actually have access to a lot of different things uh, in my current subscription, but I don't necessarily want to download everything. So you can see what I've unchecked. Contemporary Christian and Regional Latin are a couple of the formats that I know that I'll likely never play. There's no reason for me to download it. And if there's no reason for me to download it, there's no reason for it to show up in the interface. The other th uh, thing that's really great are these miscellaneous filters. So you can, hide certain things such as uh, tracks with content warning, uh, some things that are marked as explicit, so that way you don't even download them if you don't want to. The other thing you can do is tell it to show only single audio releases or you could actually hide them and that's what I have on right now. So the thing with promo only is each month, for instance, with mainstream radio, you're gonna get like the July 2020 issue of mainstream radio, which is gonna be anywhere from I don't know, like 18 to 21 tracks of new music that's available for, for you that month. But in the meantime, each week, of course, there are new singles and there's new music releasing. So it's great because you've got this uh, online interface, which is updated every day, you get new singles that are sent to your account every day that you can download. So right now we can see this is the Caribbean series, August, 2020 release, the monthly release available, but we also see down here, everything that's in black are all these single releases. So just on July 13th alone, look at all these singles that were available to download. Now I'm gonna go back into the preferences and this time I'm gonna show only the audio singles. Now I imagine if you're working in radio, um, you're a program director at a radio station, showing all singles is probably something you'd wanna do because this is now only showing the songs that were released on these particular days. All right, now let's go back to preferences, go back to what I typically have it on, which is hide all single releases because I only wanna see the monthly releases. I wanna go in, I'm gonna start downloading the releases that I need to update my music database. And I'm just gonna do my normal workflow, which is to go in and start checking on the releases that I typically download. So here's Pop Latin, need that one, Dance Radio, Mainstream radio, of course. Modern rock radio, which is gonna be like your alternative stuff. 
rhythm radio. I also like to grab urban radio. And I'll go into these uh, DJ tools just to see if there's some intro edits that I want to grab. I don't necessarily get them all because, you know, I'm no likely I'm not playing them, going to be playing them regularly. So what Promo Only does is they take a lot of the really hot, popular songs uh, and create intro and quick edits for mixing and DJ use, which is for right now, I'm going to get these two weekend releases with Heartless. All right, so it looks like I've got what I want, at least for today, in the queue. Uh, we can just, if we click on the download tab, we can see everything that's downloading right now. And depending on obviously your network speed and how many re releases that you've queued to download, this could take anywhere from a couple minutes to, you know, 20 minutes. Really, really depends on how, how many you're doing. So I'm gonna let this continue downloading. And once it's done, I'll show you the next step of how I get this organized within my library structure. All right, now that I've got the releases downloaded, I'm gonna go into my computer and get them placed into my what I think a very organized library. So as they're downloading, I always put them in this need to tag folder, uh, and then I will open these up in a tag editor and make sure all the tags are where I need to be. Um, and then from there, I have this little filing system. So let's kind of make some space here. So what I've got is this sort of master or parent folder called pool complete. And here are all my different uh, music pools that I subscribe to. For this video, of course, we're just gonna look in a pool 2020. And so what I do is I, I like to sort my uh, music and, and, and categorize them by the years and then the months that I download them in. So for promo only, I have one master folder called pool 2020. And within that folder, you'll see individual folders for each month of the year for 2020. So right now, of course, we're seeing January through July and Today, I downloaded pretty much all August releases, but there is this one August, or sorry, one July release. So I'm gonna put that in here. Uh, and I like to just cut and paste it just so it moves over nicely. Okay. So now I need to create an August folder. And to do so, we're just gonna hit new folder. And I name mine pool eight for the month of August, and then August 2020. All right, so now I've got a clean August folder, and I can drag all these right into there, and this will be really easy because these are all August. So I'm gonna cut, and I'm gonna paste. So for the month of July, it's pretty much up to date. And a matter of fact, this is good that I did this because we can see that I actually have August country in the wrong album. So I'm just gonna cut it out of there, come into here and paste it. And now country radio is in its rightful place. Well, that's a look at promo only pool. I'd love to know down in the comments what music pools you subscribe to. And if you subscribe to promo only, have you been a subscriber longer than me since 2003? I can't believe it's been so long. If you found this video helpful, please subscribe to the channel and hit like and share it with, with anyone that might be looking into using promo only. This is a really great resource for DJs. And if you only had one subscription, I would highly recommend promo only. So go check them out. I want to thank you again for watching. I'm DJ Justin Kanoya, and I will see you next time online.